What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this series where I'm taking a look at the best players per position for all budgets, right? So we are splitting the centre midfielders into two categories. We have our creative centre midfielders that we are doing in this video, and we'll have a part two of the centre midfielders where we'll be doing a box-to-box, -box, kind of an all-round action man in the centre of the pitch, because it's such an important position. So when you are choosing a creative midfielder, you're kind of picking like an attacking midfielder and it's all about controlling the pace of the ball, touching and going, you know, one touch pass. We'll get into that in a second, but it's all about controlling the ball and hitting that killer pass instead of running or, you know, concentrating on turning over possession. It's when you get the ball with these guys, you need to be very, very, very rapid and, you know, quick thinking and what you're going to be doing them and playing very direct, right? So again, it does depend on the formation you're going to be playing. It depends on the setup that you're going to have. We are using an out wide formation here and we're playing very, very non-flexible. These players are going to play per position. So we have Arati and De Jong, a nice mix there between getting the ball back and being able to you know, use it. Whereas on this formation, we've gone for that four ac across the middle of the pitch to kind of pack the midfield and then have one sitting back with our three centre backs, Fabinho sitting in the hole, sitting back, defending the whole, whole area. And then we're going to be all about just hitting killer passes, you know, having the wit, having the crosses, have a variety of chances that we can get in. So I'm expecting a big, huge upgrade to the gameplay with V2.4. I mean, there has to be some sort of stuff, but these always ring true, lads. These player skills, they're so overpowered. If you are a newcomer to the game, I would highly recommend having a look at these player skills when you are buying players, right? So there are some players that I've left out of this because obviously there's only six or seven players per video that we're looking at the best of the best, in my opinion, per position for every budget. But low lofted pass and no look pass are very interesting player skills that are really good and uh, actually work a lot of the time. But the main ones that you want for these creative type players, whether you're playing an AMF, whether you're playing a DMF, a CMF, but mainly for a CMF like Pedri or somebody like that, that you're using as your main link man from defense to attack and getting chances in the middle of the field. True passing, one touch pass and weighted pass. First time shot is nice for a couple of uh, long range shots if you have stunning shot and stuff because get it out their feet a little quicker with the passes. But yeah, let's kick off, right? So we are going to start with Kovacic. These are not in any order, lads, so you can do whatever order you want. Kovacic, absolutely insane player. I really, really, really like him. His stats go massive. He is about 80,000 GP, as far as I know. I will try to put the price up on the screen there while you're watching this. He is down as a box-to-box, -box, lads, but when you look at his stats, he is very creative, right? So this is kind of a thing where you mix and match between, you know, player skills and the attributes that you're able to put your own spin on. I mean, he's got 90 in ball control, dribbling, 92 tight possession, and 90 low pass. Absolutely incredible what a player this guy is, and one of de definitely a hidden gem in the game. Next up, we do have Pedri. I personally, personally think that Pedri is the best CMF in the game all round. I think, you know, his defensive stats don't even come into it because he is able to win the ball back. He's just like Superman, right? He is just insane, right? He's usually on A rating as well. He's playing very well for Barcelona this season. And obviously he's kind of one of the poster boys for the game as a youngster. So he is down as a creative playmaker. He has everything that you could possibly want and more. He's got all the player skills. He's got the unwavering form. He's not that expensive. I mean, he's only what? Like about 230,000 or something around that. Um, his passing skills are off the chain as well. Like ridiculous passing skills. We've also got Verratti, who, when you look at Verratti, right, there is one or two things holding him back. I think, obviously, his height under the high ball is going to be a bit of an issue, but if you are just playing on the ball, this guy is like Pedri, very, very similar to Pedri, but he's more defensive. He doesn't have as many player skills. He does have true pass and a one-touch pass, but he doesn't have some of those, like, animations that kick in for Pedri when he does a couple of, like, contextual stuff. So that's just something to keep in mind. He also doesn't have unwavering form, but the stats let speak for themselves. Plus, you've got very high defensive stats across the board without even training him up. I mean, he's got 79 aggression and 76 tackling, so he's going to help you out whether you want him to or not on defense. Speaking of just pure outright offensive weaponry, right? We've left off um, Cruz off this lift. We le list. We've left off Modric. We've left off a couple of other big names off this that are really good passers. And obviously, De Bruyne is down as an AMF in the game, so you know we've left him off as well because we're sticking to just CMFs per position or per position for every video. 
But De Jong is kind of the best of those passers, like pure passers, right? He is in as an orchestrator, which is a more rare play style. A lot of players have it, but they don't have these sort of stats that he has. You're up to the 90s in all dribbling and passing stats. You've got every player skill that you could possibly want. Same with Barella, right? Barella is a very interesting choice. He is going to feature in both videos. So he's going to feature in the box to box, you know, action man, anchor man, whatever you want to call it, like absolute beast in the middle of the pitch. And he's also going to fe feature as a creative outlet for you in midfield as well without having, you know, he's very pick up and play, very newcomer friendly because like Verratti, he has got those defense capabilities across the board. He's also got interception. It's going to help you out with that and sliding tackle when the AI are controlling him. But then he's also got all the attacking stats that you could possibly want as well as really high, high stamina, which is a key issue for a lot of these cards. So just make sure you keep an eye on that. And then we have Gerson, right? He's your budget option, 43,000 GP. He's down as a box-to-box. -box. And when you're looking at a player like this, right? One touch pass, true pass and no-look pass, low-lofted pass. He has everything you could possibly want, as well as double touch and heel trick. Two of the most, I think, overpowered individual dribble moves that you can do. And he's going to round it off here with an 87 overall card. We've had to train up the play style proficiency of all these standard cards, but he's a monster as well absolute beast 83 ball control 84 tight possession with low pass and then he's into the 80s in speed acceleration balance and stamina so for under 50,000 lads you will not go wrong with him if you are starting off looking for a really good center midfielder so that is it for me lads i'll be back with the second part of this which will be box to box action men absolute units in the middle of the pitch that can just go from box to box the whole game and really disrupt your opponent while still creating a few chances so that is it for me i'll be back quite soon Peace. Don't forget to subscribe, lads.